Hey, just want to do a walk around in my uh, kayak trailer that holds me my uh, new canoe unlimited. It's a uh, Malone Microsport uh, trailer. I picked up my buddy Kyle hooked me up with it. He had it set up for two two kayaks, but it was just a little bit too uh, too top heavy with two kayaks, so we modified it and made it a single kayak trailer. Um, I went ahead and had a buddy of mine fabbed up this top rack for it. It's all bolt on, so it's pretty cool. It'll actually come apart if I had to. Um, so it's set up pretty sweet. It's got little hooks here for my for my straps that come over the over the top of the boat. Um, got an eight inch rod tube set up. Uh, buddy Kyle built that, so picked that up from him when I got the trailer. Uh, I hold two spinning rods and I can get uh, six bait casters in it. Not a problem. So even up to an eight foot rod in there, so it's pretty nice. Um, it's got a Malone box here, holds all my stuff. Just had a tournament yesterday, so it's a mess. But anyway, it'll hold everything. I put my boondocks landing gear here, my net, catch board. I also have this uh, extra box I put in here. Holds a uh, 10 amp hour Dakota lithium battery, which will run my lights. I'll show you that in a second. Carry this, my extra, extra, uh, Plastics that I won't be using during the tournament or if I need spares, whatever. Just a little storage box. So we got that set up. So yeah, this thing works awesome. Um gotta see what else I got on here. I got the uh got these lights that are pretty cool. These are C volts makes them. Um got them all set up. They run off the button I have here, switch, and they'll go white. So it's kind of cool, you know, and obviously in the mornings, tournament days. Um, what's cool about these though is like if you got like bugs and stuff around, hit them again and they'll go blue on you. So, yeah, it works pretty sweet. Got one faces the truck and one to the back and one straight down. So lights up everything during the tournament days. Uh, I got these uh, ratchable, um, retractable straps. These got those off each e trailer sells those. So it's pretty sweet. So you don't have to get crazy ratcheting them down. They hold really well. Um, e trailer, uh, I got a spare tire holder from them. Uh, got a Fulton winch set up, uh, and then just got the uh, the jack, you know, dual wheel jack there for it. Um, yeah, it works out really well. What's cool about this, my buddy modified the top piece on it, is that this whole area is all opened up. So when I want to get it all set up, works killer. Also, when you want to pull it off the water on practice days, you know what? You can leave your rods in here so the rod's clear. So when you suck it back up on the trailer. So that's pretty cool. And then on the bottom here, it sits on the bottom. It sits flat on the uh, trailer. Just got a three quarter inch CDX. I didn't get fancy on the wood. Uh, carpeted it up. But 14 inch spacing on the two inch. PVC piping in the back and then on the unlimited it's still 11 in the front So you want to bolt the PVC front and rear only so it'll let the uh, PVC flex and fit the contour of the boat So it's pretty sweet mainly just to keep the thing from shifting while it's on the trailer um, Yeah, that's that's it. It's galvanized. So I need to strip it Strip the galvanize and actually give it a full coat of paint, but I'll do that uh, After this season, so it's just rattle can for now um, yeah, anyway, that's it. It works great. 70 miles an hour, not a problem. Um, highly recommend their stuff. I know they're expensive, but it's pretty cool if you don't have the time to modify. So, anyway, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll try to keep putting some more uh, content on my gear. All right, thanks.